Welcome to another video guys. Today's video I'm gonna be uh, just cleaning the daily here. Uh, after our trip there's a lot of bug guts and you can't see it that well on the camera but there's a whole layer of like pollen all over the car and just a bunch of uh, dirt. Um, go ahead and stay tuned. So this is just going to be a pretty simple video of how I wash all my cars. Um, not the dog, he's not getting washed, but I do have a small little uh, pressure washer um, that's electric that I had for years. Uh, I had it probably for about 10 years now. Um, I paid like $50 back when I bought it and it's worked good. About a year ago it started leaking, but I took it apart and replaced seal, so it, it still works. Um, eventually I'll probably get like a better one more pressure uh, just because also this gun doesn't have a quick connect so I can't use like a foam cannon or anything like that um, so that's the main thing but um, I use the two buckets so I'm gonna put a little bit of soap on one and then the other one I use to rinse the wash mitt between kind of each time um, I have all my cleaning supplies here just kind of different stuff but uh, you know, you can use whatever soap. Um, I really like this, my wires one. It, it's pretty well. It doesn't leave no, um, like, water spots, really. Um, the last one that I was using, which was, I think, a Black Magic Turtle Wax one. Um, it was leaving a lot of, a lot of uh, water spots on there. So I didn't really like that. Um, there's also, I think, a, what is it, a Eagle One um, soap that works really well. And then uh, I'm going to first, you know, uh, use the pressure washer, clean off all the bugs I can and all the dust. And then I'll spray some of the uh, bug uh, remover, which I have some here. Uh, again, this is just what I have. I have different brands, um, kind of... You know what works works and then i'll use that let it soak in there and then wash the whole car and then dry it afterwards so um hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get started
so once I uh, wash the car and rinse everything, um, I do the wheels separately and I'm ready to uh, dry it. Now I'm wanting to get a uh, leaf blower here soon and that way I can kind of get most of the water blown out. Um, but I use this uh, absorber. You can get these pretty much anywhere. Um, it's kind of like a synthetic rag, kind of like those chamois that are leather, but this is synthetic. And they work pretty well. Uh, I know now they have those really absorbent uh, microfiber drying towels, but I don't have one. So this is what I use. Uh, so I'll dry the whole vehicle and then I'll grab a microfiber. So these are all my used ones. I have to wash those, but I have uh, some here. I'll grab a microfiber towel and I'll dry in the door jams and clean the door jams really good. Um, you know, all the doors, the trunk catch and all that. Uh, and then I'll, I'll also uh, wipe the wheels with that one. Uh, it's easier than with this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and dry everything out. All right, so car is washed. Uh, I did the windows. Uh, I'm not gonna do the inside today, actually. It's not really that dirty. Um, I'll probably wait and do my Mustang in the inside. I have to really clean it out. I haven't done it in a few months, um, so I'll have to do the whole inside. So I'll do a video on that, on the inside part of it. But uh, by no means am I a detail person or professional detailer, so this is just what I do every day. Uh, I hope it helped you guys if you uh, want to start washing your own car or you just, uh, you know, you've been washing it and you want to see some different techniques or tips. Uh, but as always, thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Any comments, questions, leave them below. We'll see you guys in the next one.